to another episode of Sweet Heat. And because I love you and because it's summertime and I love grilling, I'm making for you a loaded bacon wrapped spicy hot dog. This is gonna be the new hot dog for your summer grilling. It's easy, it's really delicious, it's kind of ridiculous because there's so much crap on it, but it's really amazing. And as always, you know, it's gonna be a little bit, it's not really gonna be super sweet. I'm not actually putting any sugar in it, but it's got a lot of vegetables and so those are gonna to contribute to the sweetness, but it's got a lot of heat. And as always, if you like me, if you like the series and you wanna see more, hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there is another Sweet Heat episode. Okay, so the inspiration from this dog comes from, honestly, from the streets of Mazatlan or the, Mal the Malecon. There's actually a little bit of the Malecon where there's a lot of like little street vendors right next to the beach. And so you're walking by or maybe you come out of the ocean and you're really hungry and you can buy tacos, you can buy cold coconuts and you can buy a really loaded dog. And so there's a very specific style here in Mazatlan. There is a more general style here in the state of Sinaloa, but then probably more famous, or at least in the US, is the Sonoran style hot dogs. Each one has their own distinct, you know, kind of flavor profile and look and feel. I decided rather than to do one specific version, I'm just gonna make the version that I like. And so I borrowed little bits and pieces of all of these different dogs to create one that I really like. There's some familiar ingredients, namely my chorizo golis. There's also the bolillos, which actually is very specific to the Sonoran style hot dogs. And then the heat in this dish is going to come from jalapeno, but not just jalapenos. Jalapenos three ways, raw, pickled, and chipotle and adobo. The, uh, the hot dogs themselves, this is actually pretty common throughout the northern states in Mexico. When you make a hot dog, you wrap it in bacon and you either put it on the grill or you pan fry it uh, just to get a really, really crisp bacony finish. When I was at the store last night, I bought one of my favorite cheeses. It's queso chihuahua or queso minonita, which is the Mennonite cheese from northern Mexico. And it's really creamy, it's really delicious. It's very similar to a Monterey Jack, but with a little bit more aging, a little bit more mm, kind of funk. I'm gonna grate the queso minonita or queso chihuahua, put it on top of the wolio, run it under the broiler and just get it nice and brown and melty and then put the hot dog and build everything over that. So you're gonna get this nice little cheesy, crusty, yummy, delicious moment as well. It's gonna be really amazing. I feel like I can actually hear the soundtrack over this as I'm cutting. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's everything prepped, and so now we're gonna make the spicy mayo. Okay, so this is super easy. And this is like the first way that we're gonna use the jalapenos. So these are the pickled jalapenos. I love pickled jalapenos. The carrots and the onions and the garlic and the, the pickling brine add so much flavor. The carrots actually do add quite a bit of sweetness. So that was my chopped pickled jalapeno. Got some mayo, some Dijon mustard. You can use yellow mustard. You can use spicy brown mustard. I like Dijon. I grated three small cloves of garlic. Um, in the recipe, I called for two, uh, but because the ones I, were using to, I was using today were pretty small, I grated three. You know. Also, I like garlic, so whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna put half of that in, and I'm gonna put a little bit of the pickling brine for the jalapenos. And it just adds a little bit of tang, a little bit of heat, and a lot of flavor. Okay, so this looks Good, and now I just want to let that sit. 
and all the flavors will come together. And you can make this in advance. It'll keep in the fridge for a couple of weeks. Just make sure you put it in an airtight container and refrigerate. So we're making the kind of hybrid chili dog, Sinaloa, Sonora dog topping. Uh, so it's basically chorizo, beans, onion, garlic, and chipotle. It's going to be really, really delicious. So I put the onion, the garlic, and the chipotle in there. I put a little bit of salt just to draw some of the moisture. Um, but I'm going to wait and season at the very end once I taste the beans and the chorizo and everything together. So I'm going to let this cook until the onions are really tender and start to brown. Yeah, super, super. <laughs> <laughs> so these are obviously homemade black beans, but feel free to use a can if you want to do that. And all I want to do is just evaporate some of the liquid and bring the flavors together. The beans are already cooked, the chorizo is cooked, the onions and the chipotle are cooked. So all we need to do is just get rid of some of that extra moisture. So I actually just tasted the chipotles and this particular brand is actually pretty sweet. It almost has this kind of cinnamon clove kind of aroma. And so I tasted it and I was like, wow, it's actually got like some piloncillo notes in there as well. So in this recipe, the sweet is coming from the canned chipotles. Um, and you can see here, the beans are done. This is exactly what I want. There's a little bit of juice, but you can see it's kind of thick and luscious. It almost looks like an American style chili. And that's going to be amazing on the hot dog. So I wiped out the skillet, so I'm gonna use the exact same skillet. I added the remaining bit of lard. I'm gonna cook the jalapenos and the onions. We're just gonna get the a little bit of color, a little bit crisp and tender, and these are gonna be the topping for the hot dogs. It's fashion today was young and glowy. It was great, it was yesterday was my birthday. So I actually don't like the flavor of raw onion on hot dogs. I never have, and maybe it's like something that happened when I was a kid, I was traumatized by raw onion. So that's the reason why I cook the onions and the jalapeno and a little bit of the lard. I think they get sweeter, I think they get more caramelly. Brown food is delicious, but if you like raw onions, you do you. First I'm gonna say how happy I am that Sebastian is back. <laughs> you were sorely missed. It's pretty apparent that I was playing cameraman last time. So this episode is gonna be incredibly beautiful and it is all because of Sebastian. So I'm using smoked bacon because I like the flavor, but I think what's important here is you want thin cut bacon. Because we're rolling it in the hot dog, if you got the thicker cut bacon, it would take a lot longer to cook and it would take a lot longer for the hot dog to actually heat through. Okay, so I just lay the strip of bacon out uh, flat and then just start on one end and just roll. You kind of roll at an angle so that you cover all sides of the hot dog. That's not easy peasy. So you don't really have to do anything special when you're cooking the wrapped bacon. I actually thought at first that the bacon would kind of unravel, but it doesn't. It actually sticks to itself and to the hot dog. So you don't have to put it seam side down. I mean, you can if you want, but it's gonna stick to the hot dog and it won't stick in your pan, as long as you're using lard. All right, these look amazing. So the thing about these is you wanna go medium, medium, low, and it's gonna take a few minutes. You know, it's probably gonna take about six to eight minutes, but this is what you want. Golden, brown, delicious. The bacon has rendered all that delicious bacon fat, and it's crispy, so the hot dog is heated through. It's gonna be so good. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the top just so that I have like a, an easy way to put the hot dog in. And then I'm just gonna top it with some grated cheese. Use your favorite kind of cheese. I'm using queso chihuahua or Mennonite cheese. And then just run it under the broiler until the cheese melts and it gets really, really bubbly and you start to see a little bit of browning, but not too, too much. I want it to be really creamy. Chef's But also share with a friend. Sweet <laughs> cheese chips. My bun. I think I'm gonna put that one. It's really, really good. Okay, I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, actually, you gotta get this. Now I'm gonna pick the prettiest dog. Chori bean mixture, onion, and jalapeno. This ratio is definitely on the spicy side. You can adjust your ratio depending on your desire to burn your mouth. Tomatoes, avocado for some creaminess because you know there's not enough cream and fat in this already. And a little bit of smoke on top. Wow. That looks massive. <laughs> That's just, like really ridiculous. <laughs> So there is a secret ingredient, which I was debating whether I was gonna do or not, but now that I've looked at this, I mean, why not? Okay, hold on. So, one of the other signatures of a Sinaloan hot dog is chips on the top. So, I got my favorite chips, which are kettle cooked. These are extra crunchy or oh, And. That is my loaded bacon wrapped spicy hot dog. Okay, wow, I'm, I honestly don't know how I'm gonna eat this. And also I realized as we were shooting the beauties, Believe it or not, I actually forgot a component. I forgot the spicy mayo. So I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top. What that's basically gonna do is get all over my mustache, but whatever. That's why we have this. Food 52, absorbent. All right, I'm, I'm scared of this. I have to be honest, I'm like totally scared. I'm really excited, but I'm also very scared. So here we go. I've jumped the shark on this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. I didn't even get all the components, but I got the mayo, I got the tomato and the, the sauteed onion and jalapeno. It was really good. Okay, I'm actually going to go in again. Mmm. 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 <laughs> There's like this creaminess and then the the smokiness from the bacon, you get the pop of the hot dog, and then it's like cut by the uh, the spiciness of the bean and the chorizo. That's really, really good. You are really gonna enjoy this, and for no other reason, because it's really, really epic. It's going to completely blow your guests away when, they, when you walk out with like this ridiculously cheesy, loaded bacon wrapped hot dog. I hope you enjoy it and definitely like and subscribe so that you will be notified as soon as there's another ridiculous sweet heat episode. And make sure you have plenty of the five chewed towels for all of your guests when they eat this ridiculous hot dog. Also, it doubles as a beach towel.